RM Easy Teach is made up of layers, and these layers give you different tools to use in different subject areas, as well as standard line content, which of course every teacher likes to use. I'm going to start with the basic version of RM Easy Teach, and it's called RM Easy Teach Starter, and we're currently on version 3.4. And this is the toolbar that comes with it. So within this toolbar, I have access to tools such as highlighting tools, annotation, so I can select my pen color and literally annotate straight on to the screen if I'm using an interactive whiteboard, as in this case, or if I'm using a slate, I can use the pen or pass the student the slate to interact with the software. So I like to start off with a blank screen because let's face it, that's where every teacher's planning starts. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create an interactive resource from scratch. So going into my multimedia bank, I'm going to go to science as I'm a grade six science teacher about to teach the parts of the human eye. So I'm able to drag and drop the image from my multimedia bank. Once it's on my page, I can enlarge it to really ensure visual clarity for all in my classroom. And this might be something up until now I've delivered using a static worksheet, for instance. But what I'm going to do is using my tool set, I'm going to create a simple labeling interactive exercise to really get my students to think about the parts of the eye. So you can see I've got my image. I've got my lines that would indicate arrows as to what parts of the eye we are pointing to. And the last thing I need is some text out on the page. And I've got three different ways I can do that. I can use the virtual keyboard at the bottom there and literally press on each key to type a word out. Be good if we sp spelt it correctly. So that's, there's we've got the retina. And when I go back to my hand or my user mode, I am able then to interact with that text. So imagine your students coming out to the board and moving that word to the correct label. So all in all, a very simple and non-time consuming resource that I was able to create in a matter of seconds, but I've lifted the curriculum from the page to the interactive whiteboard, flipping the board on its head, meaning that I'm not using it as a glorified projection screen, but instead I'm engaging my class, I'm asking them to come out to the board and interact with the curriculum using the interactivity of the board or the slate. So that was an indication of the generic or the basic toolbar and I'm not going to spend too long on that toolbar because all of you are familiar with things like highlighting, annotation, shape drawing, being able to zoom in and zoom out and perhaps animating. The what I would really call annotation based tools, important to have, but when RM were really considering what our whole class teaching software should look like, teachers said to us, well, annotation based software is all well and good and yes, we need it to be able to annotate on top of web pages, to be able to bring images in and highlight students' attention to certain aspects of that image. But how do we really make this board interactive? How do we take the slate and really get students to engage with it? So we thought long and hard about how we could do that and we realized that actually teachers need to be given subject specific tools for math for language arts, for social studies, and for science to really allow them to maximize on the opportunities for interactivity in their subject area.